All right, guys, I hope you can see me and listen what I got to tell you. This is the original Bob Dean 54 Cal Money Pit Gun. I've got more money, time, effort, and gray hair tied up in this gun than I've had in any other gun in my entire life. I don't know if I got enough time to tell you the story on video. Umpteen years ago, I bought this gun from Cecil Whiteside before he passed away. I was dying to get my hands on a Quackenbush or a Bob Dean rifle. This had to have been in around 2004, 2005. I saw this up Cecil had for sale for about $16.50. A lot of money back then, but as a dummy, I picked it up. I didn't even have a tank at the time. I had a hand pump. Couldn't get any air in this gun. So I finally, through Eric, tracked down Bob Dean, got his phone number, sent the gun back to him just to go over it, safety, tune it up, make sure everything was working good. Sent him a check for a couple hundred bucks. Seven years go by. It's in pieces and parts, never get it back. Bob had his issues and his problems with his bipolar and everything else. So I finally said, just send me the gun back. I'll sell it. So I get it back, make sure it's holding air, put a few shots through it and put it up for sale. Got a customer lined up for it. Test it out just before I get ready to sell it. And it's leaking air. It had a full bottom lower with a air piece that you slip in there. The, uh, all the valve assembly was a slip in with set screws. Very unsafe design. It was leaking. So I sent it off to Dan at XP Air Guns. Had him Cerakote the upper. He fiddled with it, got it sealed, got it back, put it in the closet, pulled it out again to sell it, leaking air. So this time I sent it off to Will Piot to play with. Will's tinkering with it, and don't please don't forget, each time I send this thing off back and forth, you're talking $20 shipping up, $20 shipping back, plus the time and effort. So now I started at about $1,650, now I'm about $1,800 after I sent it off to Will Piot. Will's tinkering with it starting to put some air in it, and that cheap-ass lower assembly with the stuff pinned in with a few piddly set screws separates and explodes. It's in pieces. Grace of God that Will's not injured. So now I'm out another hundred dollars. He sends the pieces back. The only thing that's salvageable is the upper. So in my depression, I call Jack Haley. He says, Bob, just send me the gun. We'll do something with it. Send it to Jack. A year later, Jack passes away. Haven't heard from anybody on it. Reba says, we have it, don't worry about it. Sooner or later, we'll get it fixed. John Bowman is taking care of all the pieces and parts and trying to get what he can together and, and off to people. A couple years later, I get a phone call from John saying, Bob, uh, we're shipping your gun back to you. It's like, okay. A couple weeks later, I finally get it in. Um, and now I have it. Now, remember, I, I gave Jack some money, I shipped it to him, finally got it back. In this journey, John had sent this off, I guess, to uh, Mike over at Citrus Air Guns. Mike actually, it's his lower, put it together, got it shooting, holding pressure, it's shooting pretty good. So this gun has been through five different builders, uh, close to a 10 year span and we finally got it back in my hands. I call it the money pit because I probably, you know, tinkled away close to $2,500 on this gun. It's finally back. It's definitely a collector's item. It's the only 54 caliber ever made, uh, but now it's not gonna blow up on anybody. So now we're out testing it and playing with it. I have to give my hats off to everyone who's touched it. Um, Mike uh, over at Citrus Air Guns has done a hell of a nice job. And uh, I look forward to seeing what type of big boars he's coming up with. So we'll shoot some numbers, shoot some targets, and see what we can do with this beast. Peace out. Hey, all you hollow pointers. I got to tell you, after owning a gun for close to 12 years, Finally getting to shoot it and getting some quality numbers is a fantastic feeling. I mean, you really don't know the weight that's off my shoulders.
even though, you know, I've, spent, I've wasted so much money at this. But we shot the 54 cal today on air, and I did a three-shot string numerous times. Once I got it dialed in at about 54 yards, well, you see we were testing in the videos, um, it was a real nice three-shot spurt, three-shot string, and it's a low PSI fill. We filled it to some higher numbers, and the spread was really bad. Um, and the increase in speed was really nothing. So, you know, I worked up from like 3,800 PSI down to around 2,000. And this is the best str three-shot strings that I was able to get. With a 3,300 PSI fill, that first shot with a 248 grain hollow point. Actually, it's the only hollow point I got for this gun because uh, why invest money in a one-up that's disappeared for close to 10 years? So it's like a maxi ball trimmed down and 248 grains. 3,300 PSI gave me 773 feet per second, which 329 foot-pounds, which was really nice. The second shot off that same fill that put me down to 2,800 PSI, which gave me 749. Great. Very nice spread. Very close together. Gave me 309 foot-pounds. And then that left me with 2,500 in the gun. So, 721 feet per second. 286 foot-pounds. All of these will kill a deer. So, this is, I think this is an amazing three-shot string based on a gun that was built close to 15 years ago. And it's gone through five different guys' hands. And we finally got a working gun that I'm sweet with, I'm really excited about. So, these are the numbers. Hopefully the video is not too bad. There's not much I can do with it because I only got one bullet. Uh, but the finally, the Bob Dean 54 Cal Special is finished. We got a killer here, ready for deer season. Uh, I played with my numbers and... My peak sweet spot seems to be about 34, 3500 PSI. Getting on that first shot, I'm getting an average of 773 to 770. So we're going to shoot some ballistic gel now at 50, at 54 yards, I believe, and see what we can do. Unfortunately, it won't be on slow mo. Good one. 757, and the tank gives me a reading about 3,000 psi. Let's put another one in there. Oh, 763. Right, and we're at 2,600. And I got excited and did that one first. Okay. Uh, since it's been so long, I've only got two bullets for this mold. A sawed off maxi ball and a round ball. And the round balls are shotgunny. So I don't have a bunch of different options for this. Wow. Okay, well hopefully we can slow that down on the regular camera. That was 725. Moving and grooving. I love it. I love it. All right, let's go get the gel and we'll take some other pictures. Oh man. Let's see. There's not one bullet in here. It passed all the way through. Also looks like I was shooting high. Alright, let's
Nope. Go. Them maxi balls are shooting all the way through this ballistic gel. Fantastic. It's a very solid slug. This, by the way, was a cardboard that I was shooting. I don't know if you can see, but this is what I was getting sighted in. This right here has got me in at 54 yards. Beautiful. Well, the ballistic gel didn't stop these slugs. These maxis are so more or less relating to a solid, they went, even at 54 yards, they went all the way through uh, that 16 inches of ballistic gel. Oh. Now we're going to do a water jug. Let's see what happens with that. So I can ruin another camera. Popped it. Not as not as exciting as uh, uh, as the 20 millimeter, but uh, that's enough to kill a deer. As if no two ifs, ands, or buts about that. The reason I'm pushing the bolt multiple times is the fact that uh, uh, the head on the bullet's slightly bigger. Than it needs to be, so I gotta pop, pop it a few times to get it in. <laughs> well, that one bleeding it and tipped it over. Not bad. All right, here's Ted giving it a shot. Probably missed it. No! Are you kidding? You're dead eye Ted. Alrighty. Let's see if Mr. Hollow Point can hit this water jug freehand standing. Ah. Ho -ho! Oh, dead friggin' center. And you see me shaking and wiggling. It's just like, now. Nah. All right, the awesome power of the 54 caliber Bob Dean only special. All right, guys, here is the jug I shot freehand with the 54. Look at that, perfect dead center. Now, normally I would say that's me because I am so good, but you guys have watched enough videos to know that I suck. That was a luck shot. But the gun is a tack driver. Uh, it is 54 yards. It's holding a nice inch and a half group. And that's with me wobbling everywhere. Well, guys, I got to say the 54 is a pretty damn nice weapon. Uh, uh, I got to say thank you to everybody who's worked on it. Uh, but uh, I guess if, you know, you, you've got something you really want to get souped up or some custom work done, check out my Citrus Air Guns. Uh, the guy really knows his details, the ins and outs of tweaking and pieces and parts and I guess there's nothing he can't work on. Uh, he's going to be my next guy to work on my next project. Uh, and I'm excited to see what comes out of Citrus Air Guns here. Uh, anyways, I'll try to get the numbers put together for the old 54 here and uh, uh, it's not the most exciting video in the world but it's numbers and it's details and it's stuff that we all need to know. Uh, all right.